Use your beans, delicious in your mouth. But watch out when beans come out down south. Who knew that beans were such an important grain in the world of The Simpsons? Well, we did. So we created a list of our top 10 favorite bean moments on The Simpsons. Number 10. Picking beans with grandma. In fear of flying from season 6, Marge begins going to therapy to address her, well, you guessed it, fear of flying. Meanwhile, Homer sits outside the office whining to Lisa that the therapist will likely encourage Marge to leave Homer and that Lisa will be left to spend weekends picking beans with grandma. She responds by explaining that this doesn't bother her and they continue trading sarcastic barbs at one another. It'll break up the family and you'll have to live with your grandmother and pick beans. Dad, I like picking beans with grandma. Well, keep it up then. Okay, I will. Good, you do that. Fine. You'll be picking many a bean. Hope I do. Number nine, Bart and the Beanstalk. Okay, so maybe we're stretching a little bit for 10 bean-related moments here, but Bart and the Beanstalk released on Nintendo's handheld Game Boy system in February of 1994 features Homer as the giant. Surely that must be worth something. Number eight, Bart. Curse you, magic beans. Speaking of beanstalks, the following moment comes from the season five episode, Homer the Vigilante. After Lisa's saxophone is robbed, Marge asks Homer to explain to Lisa why they can't go out and replace her saxophone, when Homer blames a nearby jar of so-called magic beans. Homer, tell your child what you bought when I sent you to town to get some insurance. Mm. Curse you, magic beans! No, stop blaming the beans. Number seven, the chalkboard from Bart of Darkness. The opening sequence to Bart of Darkness in season six includes a chalkboard segment where Bart is writing, beans are neither fruit nor musical. Surely a reference to something, right? Number six, the musical fruit opera. The season 15 episode titled Margical History Tour features Marge telling three different stories about historical figures. So it's kind of like a Treehouse of Horror episode, except if it was written by your ninth grade history professor. One of those segments includes a story about famed composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. However, in typical Simpsons fashion, they use one of the characters to represent him. I like to call him Bartzart. And when you have Bart playing Mozart, you end up with a rendition of Ina Kleine Nacht music, which alters the lyrics into a childish song about flatulence. Well, 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 Mr. or Mrs. Ninth Grade History Professor. It turns out that beans are quite musical after all. Tooting, some call it booting. It's air polluting, the gas come shooting right from your butt. Number five, Homer Cleese cares not for beans. In the season four episode, Selma's Choice, Marge's sister Selma takes the kids to a water park when Homer falls ill eating a week old sub sandwich. As he recovers, with the kids out of the house, he begins feeling frisky and ties a bedsheet around himself like Hercules before approaching Marge in the kitchen cooking dinner. Marge giggles at Homer's advance but claims that the beans will burn. However, Homer Cleese cares not for beans as he picks up Marge and carries her off to the bedroom. Come to Homer Cleese. <laughs> I can't. The beans will burn. Homer Cleese cares not for beans. Number four, Mr. Bean Cameo. In season 15's The Regina Monologues, the Simpsons find themselves being greeted by Tony Blair after landing in England. He explains that there is much to see in Great Britain, but that he doesn't have time to show them around because he is late for an appointment. Then he straps on a jetpack and flies away like James Bond, as Homer mistakes the former Prime Minister for a British comedic TV character played by Rowan Atkinson. Now that I think about it, I think Rowan would make a great Prime Minister, don't you? Maybe you could give us a personal tour of your country. I'd love to, but I'm late for an appointment. I'm greeting a lovely Dutch couple at gate 23. 
Cheerio. Wow, I can't believe we met Mr. Bean. Number three, Leader Beans. A religious cult takes over Springfield in the season nine episode, The Joy of Sect. Homer is initially too dim-witted to be brainwashed by the Movementarians, as they call themselves. However, they eventually find a way to get through to him. Marge tries to talk Homer into leaving the cult, but Homer demonstrates that he is too far gone when he admires a collection of lima beans that he thinks looks just like the leader. Oh, a lima bean that looks just like the leader. I'll put it with the others. Homer, you know I always try to put the best face on everything, but there's no face on that damn bean. Number two, that bean. Season eight brought us Homer versus the 18th Amendment, where an old prohibition law is retroactively enforced on the citizens of Springfield. Homer and Bart begin a secret home brewing operation to circumvent the law. However, Marge begins to become suspicious when she hears loud noises coming from the equipment in the basement. Not to worry, because Homer has a brilliant excuse. Blame the bean. What on earth happened down there? One of the stills... Uh, nothing, Marge. I think it must have been that bean I had for dinner. Kaboom! Blam! Oh, excuse me again, dear. Before we get to our number one bean-related moment in The Simpsons, if you enjoyed this video, show us some love down below in the comments and smash the subscribe button so you can be notified when we release new videos. And we intend to cover a lot more Simpsons content. And let us know what your favorite bean related moment is. And can you think of any bean related moments that we may have missed? Drop a comment down below. Now for our number one bean related moment from The Simpsons. The original musical fruit. Admit it, you knew this one was coming a mile away. Between the chalkboard punishment in season 6, or the Mozart musical in season 15, the Simpsons creators have referenced this moment in future episodes at least twice. As a child of the 90s, I vividly remember watching the season 4 episode Whacking Day when it first aired on television on April 29, 1993. Bart gets himself kicked out of Springfield Elementary, and Marge tries to find another school for him. She enrolls him in a Christian school where he is immediately kicked out after singing this delightful little bean-inspired ditty that would be repeated all over the elementary schoolyard the following Monday. Bart, uh, since you're new here, perhaps you'd favor us with a psalm. <clears throat> beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. <coughs> Avert your eyes, children. He may take on other farms. <laughs> <laughs>